Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we're taking a look today at a rather large wireless access point from Ubiquiti. This is their Unify UAP ACM Pro US. It's got a funny name uh, because they largely market these things at enterprises, but I have found their products to be exceptionally well suited for homes as well. And I have their AC light access points all over my house, and it's a very good and inexpensive mesh system. It takes a little bit more setup than some of those more expensive wireless mesh systems out there, but you get a lot more flexibility in including things like this. So this is part of that product line, but it's designed to work outside. So typically with a mesh system, you get one set of access points and that's it. Uh, the Unify products give you a lot of different choices depending on what your use case is. And this one's really well suited for outdoor usage, especially if you got like a car dealership or an RV park or something like that. And we're gonna see how well it works here, both in my home, and then we're gonna take it outside in the backyard and see what kind of range we can get out of it. Now I do wanna mention in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. Program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. And, and it's an addendum to that. I've bought a lot of Unify access points in the past, both for my home and business, and I love them. They are really great products and I'm really looking forward to booting this one up and showing you how it all works. Now, I haven't actually configured this one yet, so I thought I would take you through the configuration process and then we'll see how it all works. And in my other video that I did about a year ago, I show you how I'm using this system in my home as well. So you might wanna check out that video to get more context on the product line. All right, so let's take a look at the hardware now. There really isn't much to this one. It's made out of plastic and it feels pretty hollow inside and that's because it is. Uh, most of this thing is an antenna or a bunch of antennas and the plastic here is uh, protecting it from the elements. This is a three by three wireless AC radio built in. So if you have newer laptops that have those three by three radios, they'll get the fastest rate of speed on here. I do think its real benefit is just the surface area it has for its antennas, which works uh, very well in an outdoor environment. Now this is $180. They also have a $93 version that has a two by two AC radio. I did a video talking about the differences in how this wireless AC works. If you wanna get a better idea of three by three versus two by two, uh, check out that video. But that smaller one uh, doesn't have as large an antenna surface area. So I think this one might do better again in a larger space. But if you're just connecting a few users to a small outdoor patio or something, the uh, $93 version might uh, do the trick for you. Maybe you can get two of them and uh, extend out even further. But again, for larger areas, I think this one is going to work much better. It also supports 2.4 gigahertz, which will give you a much larger range. And again, with all that antenna on here, I think you'll have a, a pretty good uh, distance you can go from it. We'll put that to the test in a few minutes. Weighs about a pound and a half, and I think most of the weight is the metal mounting bracket here on the back. It's designed to be mounted onto a wall with the bracket here, or you can uh, have it mounted to a pole, and they give you all the hardware you need in the box to do that. It connects in a very simple way to the rest of your network, and this is how all these Unify things work, because they are powered by the network cable. So all you have to do is uh, plug the network cable into a power over ethernet switch that is supporting the 802.3 AF or AT formats and uh, just pop it right in there. Your internet and your data and your networking and all of your power goes right through that port and you're good to go. Now if you don't have one of those fancy switches, they do include what's called an injector in the box here. And what you do with this is connect your network into this port here and then run this cable out to the access point. And then of course it plugs into your wall outlet. So if you don't have a fancy power over ethernet switch, the injector here comes in the box. And again, you don't have to call the electrician if you're good at running network cable because there is no electrical to run out to this. It goes right through that ethernet jack and you are good to go. So now what I'm going to do is get this thing plugged into my network. I'll show you how to configure it. I'll show you how it works with my other uh, smaller indoor Unify access points, and then we'll take it outside and see what kind of range we can get. All right, so I got everything hooked up now. So we have the injector here plugged into a power outlet. My network is going into the LAN port on the injector. The PoE cable is running out uh, over to our access point here, which is plugged into the main jack. Uh, there is a second ethernet jack on here, which is used as a bridge. So if I were to plug in an ethernet device into this access point, wherever it's located, all of that tra traffic through the second port will transit through the first one. So it's basically like a little hub that you can extend out with this when you plug it in someplace else. So now that you can see, we've got a white light on, so it's all booted. And what I'm gonna do now is go over to uh, the software con uh, configuration panel here. And uh, the way these Unify access points work is they have some software that you install on a computer to configure the entire network. And uh, this is just like any other of the Unify devices in that it will show up uh, just as another access point. And all I have to do here is click on Adopt 
to integrate it into my network, which is what I'm going to do right now. I did a full uh, overview as to how this configuration process works in my original uh, Unify AC video. So if you want to get a little bit more on this, you can check out that video here. But you can see right now that this is provisioning and we're just waiting for uh, everything to get configured over to it. And once it's on my network, it's basically going by default uh, to adopt everything else that I have set up in my house here. So once that provisioning is done, it's ready to go. And, and you can really pretty much start using it uh, right off the bat. But there are some, of course, additional configuration options that you can use uh, through the software here. Uh, we're now connected, so I can go through the process now of giving it a name, upgrading its firmware, and then uh, getting it ready to go within my network. Now, I did want to step through a few of the configuration options of interest on here. This is going to be very similar to what I covered in my review of the AC light units, but uh, on the side here, just like your other access points, you have access to uh, configure each of these devices individually, or you can just have the default configuration applied to all of them. I can see which users are already connected to this thing. So once I got it plugged in, my MacBook and my iPhone already found it and uh, connected up to it. Uh, one of the nice features about their new AC units, even the AC lights, is that you have the ability to scan the entire RF environment here. So you can get a feel for which channels are occupied, not only by other Wi-Fi devices, but uh, things that are using those same frequencies. Because Wi-Fi operates in a uh, publicly accessible frequency range, so there are other things like mice and keyboards and all sorts of other junk out there that uh, might be using up some of these channels and you can see which channels are free uh, after you run that test. It does take a while to run that and I did that in my uh, other review there. I'm going to go over here to configuration though and show you one other feature that I found unique to this particular device which is airtime fairness. This is on uh, their pro level devices and this is designed for public spaces that are going to be using the Wi-Fi because you don't want one user dominating all of the traffic so this thing will actually uh, divvy up the available uh, connection speed to the users even and we'll make sure that no one person can dominate the entire connection. So it will do some uh, network throttling, if you will, to keep everything working fairly for everyone that is connected to it uh, within reason, of course. But uh, it's definitely useful, especially, again, if you're using it as a publicly accessible Wi-Fi access point. So now what I want to do is show you an in interior test here. We're going to do a quick speed test, uh, just connecting right on the table, and then we'll bring it outside and see what kind of speeds we get out there. All right, so we're going to set up a perfect world test here where the laptop, this is a 3 by 3 equipped MacBook Pro, is right next to the access point. And we're going to see how much data we can push onto my network through something called iPerp. And the way this works, I got a computer over there connected to my gigabit ethernet running a little server program. The client is on this Mac. We're going to transmit wirelessly to the access point that's going to go through the cable into my network over to the other ethernet computer connected over there. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that test real quick. Let me zoom in so you can see what we're doing and we'll see what we get. So you saw before we got 612 megabits per second on that first test. And we're getting about the same now, maybe a little bit less, and it, it'll vary based on uh, conditions and interference and everything else. I did do my best before I started this test to turn off everything that uh, might interfere with the uh, connection here. So I'm seeing about 500 megabits to 600 megabits per second, which is uh, pretty good, at least in a perfect world scenario here where we're connected uh, pretty much right next to it. So there you can see what the maximum speed is in a perfect world scenario here. And uh, your mileage will vary though, because if you are in a place where other people have have AC wireless access points or other things that are using that five gigahertz bandwidth, that might impact your speed because of interference and other things. So there's no perfect world uh, scenario everywhere, but where I am at least, this is the only thing on those frequencies at the moment, and I'm getting uh, pretty decent speeds about what I would expect to see with a three by three radio this close to the laptop. Now let's see how far we can go. I'm gonna go hook this up to my porch and start walking around the backyard. All right, so I'm on the far edge of my property now. I'm going to wave so you can see exactly how far away I am, about 230 feet from the access point, which I have resting against the barbecue over there. But I'm picking up a pretty good signal here. I'm using a piece of software called the Wi-Fi Explorer. It's for the Mac, and it's giving me a pretty good amount of detail as to what kind of signal I've got out here. So let's start with the 5 gigahertz signal. Uh, it rates it at 40%. That's 17 dB on the signal-to-noise ratio. You can see all the details down here as to what it's seeing at the moment. I'm just going to click on the 2.4 gigahertz signal here also so you can see what we're getting there. That signal of course is much stronger because the 2.4 gigahertz signal just is a stronger signal but as you can see we're able to get a really good signal pretty far away from the access point. Now in fairness this thing is outside which actually contributes quite a bit to this but if you are using this outside which it's designed to do it will deliver Wi-Fi in a, a pretty good uh, distance from the uh, source point for uh, everyone that wants to get on your network. I did want to redo that bandwidth test that we did inside a few minutes ago. Now we're 230 feet away but I 
I have a decent, reliable AC connection all the way out here. So let's see what kind of speed we get. So I'm going to run that iPerf test again, uh, the same test I ran on the desk a few minutes ago, and we're going to see what we get here. So I've been running this off and on over the course of the last 20 minutes or so, and as you can see here, it kind of goes all over the place. So it goes as high right now as 95 and a half megabits per second, and then it kind of drops back down again. But you can see our aggregate store score was about uh, 28.7 megabits per second. So it's not bad actually. It's pretty pretty decent, uh, and you can certainly browse the web and watch some videos and whatnot with these speeds. So I'm pretty pleased with uh, what I'm seeing here, even on the five gigahertz AC at this dis distance away. I don't think this is going to be reliable enough at this distance to do a live streaming or something like that. But if you got closer to it, of course, it'll be a little better as you get closer. And again, the further away you get, the slower the speed gets, the harder it is to maintain a connection. But uh, it's been rock solid the 25, 30 minutes I've been standing out here this far away from it. And uh, you get actually pretty decent speeds as a result. And part of that is because we do have the antenna outside. And that is what's nice about having an outdoor uh, device here. It can sit outside and it can deliver uh, the internet connection to your exterior areas where uh, you really couldn't do so before without something that was uh, rated for all weather. So that is the Outdoor Unify Access Point from Ubiquiti. Again, the part number on this one is UAP ACM Pro US. Very easy to get up and running. In fact, if you are already using these Unify Access Points in your network, it's as easy as just clicking a button. It will adopt uh, all the settings you need it to adopt and it will begin working almost immediately. So very easy setup. Even if you have to start from scratch, it is an easy process to get going. And I covered uh, how I set these things up in my home in that other video. So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning uh, how to get these things working on your network in the best way. And what I really like about the Unify system is the fact that you have uh, these crazy outdoor antennas and you also have things that are really simple and inexpensive to put inside of your networking environment. So in my house, I use their AC light access points. Those are two by two access points and they cost about $80 or so a piece. And it's good enough for what I need. And if I ever wanted to uh, extend outdoors, I now have the ability to do that just by pointing and plugging it in. And uh, that's all you need to do to get additional stuff going on your network. And the really cool thing now is that you no longer need to run the software on a computer. You can now do it from your smartphone. So I might do a, a follow-up in a couple of weeks about how to set it up without having to use a computer at all, just the smartphone app to uh, get one of these unified networks up and running. Again, the only thing you got to do is just bring Ethernet to it and you are good to go. So I can definitely recommend this one, especially if you are looking to uh, get a reliable outdoor connection at your home or business. And this is Lon Seifen. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger and Brian Miller. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.